friends, welcome to Mana Lifestyle Special Health Tips. We have a very loving father and he loves us so much that he gave us the best, the best for this body that he has created. And you know, man is the masterpiece of God's creation. Therefore, we want to share what we have learned and what we'll continue to learn about what to put in this body that God has given us. In the beginning, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, I would like to read. It says, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed, which is upon the face of, the, of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be meat. That is our meat. This provision that God has given to us, let's look at it a little closely. One, herb bearing seed. We call these grains, your sorghum, your corn, your millet, oats, and all those wonderful grains that we use, and we better use them also for breakfast. Then with it comes every tree in the which is the fruit. These are zillions, and I use the word zillions because they are uncountable, wonderful fruits that God has given to us. Choose the ones that you have in your environment. Like, I love mangoes. They are sweet, they are nice, they are juicy, they are oranges, they are purples, pineapples. All these fruits, we can start naming them. Unfortunately, we have lost a lot. But nevertheless, God in his mercy has given us a lot that we can still choose from in their season. Then the trees yielding seeds. These are nuts. We need nuts only in small quantity. A handful of nuts in a day is all that is needed. Please don't take a bottle of granite. Although not, granite are not true seeds, the true seeds are seeds like almond, black walnut, cashew nut, palm nut, palm kernel nut. They are nice. Let's eat some of them. We need them. We'll find all of these local ones that are around us. God is so loving. God is so merciful. Unfortunately, sin came in. Adam and Eve ate the fruits that they were told not to eat. And then God in his mercy still did something so that we can continue to have the needed nutrients for our body. These bodies of ours must have the best of the best. What did God do? He then said, take some vegetables. In the beginning, vegetables were made for animals, not for mankind. But then when sin happened, man began to have the need for healing, that the process of deterioration would not be too fast. So God gave us vegetables. It's, that is a consequence of sin. But nevertheless, we must eat vegetables if we are to be in the best of health. I know one thing for sure, that God will not give us a command and then those things will not be available. They are available. So then, as we trace the history of mankind, well, first of all, let me give you the Bible verse here in Genesis chapter 3, verse 18. In the last part of that verse, it says, And thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Please, dear friends, make sure that you are eating the herb of the field. They give the necessary nutrients, the chlorophyll, all of the fiber that we need. They are gotten a lot from vegetables. Therefore, I like this quotation that I honor so much from an inspiration that is very close to the Bible that I love so much. And next to the Bible, I love to quote from this book. And it says, grains, fruits, nuts, and vegetables constitute the diet chosen by God for us. That is what God has chosen for us to, to do. So we need to choose the best foods. And when we are talking about the best foods, we are talking about grains, fruits, nuts, and vegetables. So what happened? You know, I always feel sad when I look at the history in the Bible about nutrition. Sin didn't get any less. It got worse and worse. Till the imagination of man was evil continually. And what happened? God had to bring in his justice. Love has justice. Therefore, he destroyed the world. He kept the ark that he told Noah to build. And only eight people entered the ark. And everything else was destroyed. And when everything was destroyed, he then permitted man to eat clean and unclean foods. So he gave specifications. Don't eat those things that 
are not to be eaten. Plus, he then said, do eat the fat and do not eat the blood. These are important facts to keep in mind. So if we are talking about the right nutrition for our body, we must take note of all of these events in the book of Genesis that says, eat grains, fruits, nuts, and vegetables. And then when he permitted man, because there was no vegetables, no fruit trees, and nothing was available except the ones they took into the ark, he then said, eat the clean ones. So if you can eat the fish and the meat without blood, which means that you need to wash off the blood, even after cooking it, don't use the meat stock to make jollof rice and all the rest. They must be thrown away. But nevertheless, I choose, and I hope you choose with me, to take back the original one and use those ones that have been made to be the best for mankind. How about learning to know how to cook these things? Ask questions. The follow-up events will help us to know what to do. Ask questions and ask for more things that can help you to prepare these meals in the best way possible. So dear friends, you are welcome and continue to subscribe and continue to stay with us so that we can share more health tips. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. Till we meet again and then we have more things to share. God bless you.